of videos of solving a quadratic equations by completing the square, but there are a couple more challenging examples on this set of videos. So here is a quadratic equation that is not in standard form. Notice the C is off to the right, so don't let it confuse you too much. So I'm going to leave a space, and now I say half of negative 8 is negative 4, then I square it, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So I'm going to add 16 here, and I'm going to add 16 there. Now I'm set to factoring it. So I factor this quadratic equation on the left-hand side. So we say, what are the factors of C that add to B? So off to the side, factors of 16 that add to negative 8. Well, it's negative 8. Sorry, negative 4 and negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 adds to negative 8. So those are the numbers we're going to work with. Negative 4, negative 4. And then we add these two numbers together. We get 19. We get the same parentheses. So x minus 4, all squared, equals 19. Finish solving by undoing. So square root both sides. We're left with x minus 4 on the left, plus or minus square root of 19 on the right. Add 4 to both sides. And there's our exact answer. This last question we haven't seen yet in the completing the square problem. All the problems we've seen so far, the leading coefficient was an, a 1. This one has a 2. You always want this leading coefficient to be a 1 to complete the square. So how you get rid of that 2 is to divide the entire equation by 2. So I'm going to have to divide this by 2, and that by 2, and this by 2. So it looks like this. x squared plus 4x equals 6. Now I can finish completing the square. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here. <clears throat> Half of 4 is 2. Then square it, and I get 4. So I'm going to add 4 here, and I'm going to add 4 there. Now I'm going to factorize it. Probably can start to do these in your head. What are the factors of 4 that add to 4, which is 2 and 2? Add the right-hand side, and we get 10. Combine those two parentheses together, and I'll solve by undoing. You're left with x plus 2 on the left, plus or minus square root of 10 on the right, Subtract 2 from both sides, and that's what you're left with.